At Hillcrest Cemetery, there is a section set aside for Montana State prisoners. It's the final resting place for 273 inmates. When you enter this prison section, the first thing you're going to see is that sign that says, Lord, remember me. In the Gospel of Luke, the good thief said to Jesus, remember me when you come in your kingly power. And Jesus said to the penitent thief, truly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Whoever you have lost, just remember them for who they were, not what they did. Heather Gregory is the Powell County Coroner. Every time a prisoner dies, she's called to inquire into the cause of death. And take care of them until the funeral home can come and get them. Everybody who dies under my watch will be treated with respect. Sometimes she talks to the deceased family members. Sometimes there is no family. Some lost their families, lost everything when they came to prison and that's why they're here. Most times the family will take their loved one home, but the prison will provide a graveside service for any inmate who dies in prison. They take about 15 minutes, but the staff members who kind of knew a prisoner would be a pallbearer. Some families provide a headstone to be placed on the grave at the prison cemetery, but for years, unnamed rocks were often the only markers. Uh, Those rocks are now being replaced with basic headstones Sorry. with the deceased name. They've laid it on the rock, but they'll probably take the rock out. Its exact location is uncertain, but prisoners used to be buried in or near the old prison, which is now a museum. A new prison opened in 1979. After the old cemetery was abandoned, the graves were disinterred. Some of the men who once rested at the old site are now here. The first grave on record is 1883. They just described him as a short man, and that's what's on his gravestone is a short man. Some of the prison's most notorious inmates are buried here. George Rock and William Hayes instigated a riot in an escape attempt in 1908. They murdered their deputy warden. Hayes was a horse thief. Rock was said to be the most dangerous inmate in the prison. He was hanged in the yard um, of the old old prison along with William Hayes. In 1918 there was a daring escape attempt. This is John Hartwell's grave. And he is one of the prisoners that actually made it over the wall. But he didn't make it far before being shot by an officer. The instigators of the infamous 1959 prison riots are buried somewhere in the cemetery. Once they die, you know, who are we to judge anymore? Some of them are here for, you know, really bad crimes and others are not. Rod Neubauer buries the prisoners. Right now, he says it's easy to forgive and, uh, someone when you bury them. I talk to them. almost everybody when I bury them just because it's kind of the last goodbye. And then you have the suicides, the young, the young men. Some headstones unveil something personal about the man who's buried here. Heather wonders about their lives before prison. What brought them here? When you look at everybody laying here, you know, you sometimes reflect on your own life where you turn around and say, there by the grace of God go I. The prison section of Hillcrest Cemetery offers a beautiful view of Deer Lodge Mountain and Powell Mountain. And it's the only spot in the cemetery where you cannot see the new prison or the old one. Maybe the souls of these men who lie here are free at last. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.